Hi everyone, Paul here in the Rojovi Music Workshop and welcome to part two, video two, of my power acoustic guitar project. So remember in the first video I was explaining about having to do the bridge reset. Okay, so as I said, that's for a later video. Now for today, uh, we're going to be looking at the, the fretboard and the frets. Okay, um, I did originally uh, recently fix uh, the binding that was coming away, that's been glued up. So if you look up here, you see how dull and dirty the frets and the fretboard are. So this is before and down here is uh, where I have cleaned it so you can see the difference. Okay, so I'll just show you what I do, what I use to, to clean the fretboard. So this is, uh, it is a fretboard and fret cleaner, it's just uh, a sponge. Uh, with an abrasive outer coating. So uh, this does not hurt the wood at all. So you can just go straight over it and there are just a few strokes and the frets are all clean. And you can even use this to clean the wood itself because you often get dirt and grime between the frets. Okay, so uh, it doesn't need a proper full fret job. I've already checked the frets, they're level, they're set, so it's just a very quick clean up and I'm not even going to oil the fretboard at this stage, I will do that towards the end of the project. Okay, so that's what it looks like, all cleaned up and nice and smooth. Okay, so that's um, a partial job on the frets, which I'll do again later towards the end of this project. Now, the other thing is, or one of the other jobs is uh, the tuners. Now, when this guitar came to me, all of the tuners were broken into pieces. They were absolutely useless. So they're in the bin. So um, I tried to source the proper tuners for this guitar, but they're very, very hard to find because it's not uh, a known brand. So I bought some generic acoustic guitar tuners now I have already just very loosely fitted one in to show you what problem we've got here. So it's screwed into place in the original screw holes, but if you look on this side, you'll see the post is not in the center of the hole, it's off center. And also the uh, spacers that come with these tuners, or the ferrules I should say, that go on the front, Okay, put one of those in there and no good. Now I could have sourced uh, some bigger ferrules or some different tuners, but I could have been searching for weeks, could have ended up paying a lot more than, than the guitars even worth. So I've decided to go with quite a drastic fix on this, but it's a reversible fix. So I've got these wooden dowels, which are the same diameter as these holes. So I'm going to glue these in and then cut them and shape them so that they're nice and flush. And I'm going to stain them as close to the, the color of the headstock as possible. Then when those are all in and glued and set, I will then drill a hole through the center, the same diameter as uh, this post. And then I will ream it out to fit these ferrules in, okay? Um, so I will show you, obviously, in a, in a full video of how I'll be doing that job. So basically, I'm plugging the holes, re-drilling them, and then fitting these new tuners in there so that they'll be all nice and snug and they'll look great. And you'll barely even see it. Okay, so again, that's for a future video. Okay, so uh, coming back to the uh, bridge reset, okay? I'm not going to do that on this video, um, but uh, I will be doing this on the next video. So I hope you join me in video three. See you next time. Bye.